According to Norse mythology, before the beginning, there was nothing. No earth, no sky, no stars. There was only Niflheim in the north, the realm of ice and mist, and Muspelheim in the south, the realm of fire and heat. In Muspelheim resided Surtur, an ancient being who wielded a flaming sword. It was foretold that at the end of the world, Ragnarok, Surtur would leave his post and set the realm of the gods ablaze with his fiery sword. Between Niflheim and Muspelheim lay Ginungagap, a vast void. The icy rivers of Niflheim flowed into this void and froze into solid ice. In the middle of Ginungagap, where the icy rivers met the fiery lava of Muspelheim, the ice began to melt. From this melting ice, life emerged in the form of a giant named Ymir. He was neither male nor female. Alongside Ymir, a cow named Audhumla also emerged from the melting ice. The cow, Audhumla, fed herself by licking the salty ice blocks, and in doing so produced milk that nourished Ymir. From the ice that Audhumla licked, the first god, Buri, was revealed over three days, first his hair, then his head, and finally his whole body. Ymir, while sleeping, gave birth to more giants from his sweat, a male and a female from his armpit, and a six-headed giant from his legs. These giants were Ymir's descendants. Buri had a son named Bor, who married the giantess Bestla, and they had three sons, Odin, Vili, and Ve. As Odin, Vili, and Ve grew, they realized they were confined in the void between Muspelheim and Niflheim. They discussed life, the future, and the world they envisioned. Eventually, they decided to create a world with seas, forests, land, and sky. To do this, they needed to kill Ymir, as there was no other way to create the realms. Ymir's death became the beginning of everything and enabled all life. Ymir's blood flooded the world, drowning all the giants except for Bergelmir and his wife, who survived. Odin and his brothers used Ymir's flesh to create the earth, his bones to form mountains and hills, his teeth to make sand and stones, and his blood to create the seas. The stars in the sky were made from Muspelheim's sparks. The world they created was flat and surrounded by oceans. Giants inhabited the outskirts. To keep the giants away, Odin and his brothers built a fence from Ymir's eyelashes in the center of the world and called it Midgard. Midgard, with its clean soil and clear waters, became a magnificent place to live, but it was still uninhabited. Odin, Vili, and Ve contemplated creating beings to live in Midgard. Finally, they found two pieces of driftwood on the shore and set them upright in the sand. Odin breathed life into the wood. Vili gave them will, intelligence, and thought. Ve shaped them into human form, giving one male and the other female characteristics. They named the man Ask and the woman Embla. Ask and Embla became the ancestors of all humanity. These people lived safely in Midgard. Odin was considered the All-Father, as he gave life to our ancestors, and all future gods would descend from his lineage.